Happy Monday, VIPs. I'm so thrilled. Let me go ahead and tag a couple of our friends. I am beyond excited. Good morning. Hello. Happy Monday. Oh my goodness. Today is a God blessed day. Optimism in one hour is the theme. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to invoke and wake up some serious, unapologetic joy, happiness, and just sheer satisfaction for your life because you were born to have an amazing VIP outlook on life. I want you to wake up with rose colored glasses. No, with VIP colored glasses. Okay? So right now, get ready. I want to make sure I tag a couple of our friends here. Good morning. All right, queens. Hello, Jesse and Kay. Hello, everybody. Yaya, happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday to Queen Yaya. I am so excited because today, a miraculous milestone in one of our biggest cheerleaders' lives. Happy 50th birthday, Yaya. We love you. You are the leftover firecracker, and we're so grateful for you. All right, queens, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a warm-up here. So maybe you want to get on your air stepper with me. Maybe you want to get on your trampoline and get the positive vibes up. Good morning, Natalie is over there. All right, queens, so it's Monday. We're coming off a wonderful 4th of July holiday. Today is Yaya's birthday. Magic and miracles are in the air. And today's theme is, yes, listen up, optimism in one hour. Why is that important? Because if you win the morning, you win the day, all right? Um, and what is the opposite of being optimistic? Living in fear. You cannot live in fear, okay? Remember this metaphor. Remember this saying. A scared trapeze artist is a dead trapeze artist, okay? You can't have fear. You gotta go and you gotta seize the day. You gotta perform. You gotta get up and get going. You gotta say thank you. I'm gonna keep my eye on the prize. I'm gonna make sure I stay focused. So no fear. A scared trapeze artist is a dead artist, okay? And did you know that outside your comfort zone is where all the magic and miracles happen? So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. It might be uncomfortable a little bit, but that's where it's supposed to be. That's where you're supposed to vibrate at. I stay out of my comfort zone. I don't like being in the comfort zone because that's when nothing happens. That's when this happens. And do you know what this is? This is a dead fish on a slab and you don't want that. Woo! Passion plus consistency equals success. And when you're successful, that's when you have the most optimism. You have a bright outlook for your future, okay? You have a bright, just continence about you, the way you smile, the way you hold yourself up, your posture, your shoulders are up and back. You have an invisible cape flowing off your back and then it touches everyone around you. Your children pick up on that vibe. It's an undercurrent. It's an energy that people might not be able to see with their physical eye, but they feel. And yes, they see it with their physical eye, actually, because they see how you are vibrating higher. You are not a pessimist. You are an optimist. You're also an optimist realist saying, you know what? It isn't what it is. I can't control those things. I'm not going to create hell for myself. Oh, this is good. I got to take a breath. <laughs> I get so excited and that thing really does work. Oh my goodness, let me just take a breath. So back to that point, you are a optimist realist. You know that you can't control everything, so you save your energy and you pick your battles, okay? You say, I'm gonna focus on what I can control, right? The key to success is to start even when you're not ready. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom. We have to hit rock bottom and we have to I'm gonna get back on because it was so good. I'm gonna get another buzz. I'm buzzing here. I'm so I'm tipsy on the VIP power. I'm tipsy. I'm buzzing. I'm optimistic. I feel so great. I'm jolted. You don't need drugs. You don't need pills. You don't need alcohol. Oh, this is a good pump. This is how you also get optimism in one hour. You do your beauty rituals. 
you get your ribbed rollers. Have you guys done your rib rollers today? You get your dry brushing in. Okay, let's lift the glutes. Get the hamstring back there. Look, this is damage control for maybe some of you. I know it was the holiday weekend, so no chicken nuggets, okay? Let's get this fat, fat flushed out. You can do your rib rollers. I have a wood one, I have a plastic one. It really feels great. This is how you get Optimus still moving in your body. Also with your dry brushes, okay? Get the inner thigh as well, right? How do you stay optimist? optimistic? You hang around other optimistic people that celebrate your success, that want you to succeed, that are not jealous of you, that want to see you flourish to new heights of success, right? So remember that. I want you to stay around. Look what that pump did, man. I feel I got striations there. Wow. Okay, I love this thing. Let me get back on it. Um, <laughs> woo, getting those arms pumped here. So dopamine kicking in. That's a great, great, great buzz. It's, I'm tipsy on the dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, endorphins, D-O-S-E, dose for short, okay? So I want to say happy Monday. We're going to crush this Monday. We're going to be going live right at 8 a.m. for our members. A couple of giveaways. This is going to be given away August 6th. Thank you so much to Kim Art. Look at that, it's a beautiful handmade piece of art jewelry. That's the universe inside. August 6th, this will be given away. This Friday, I'm giving away a big box, chock full of my favorite Jadel approved fashion, fitness, and foodie finds. These are donated and sponsored by Kelly Kubiak. We love you. These are really cool. These are Color Street Nails, 100% real nail polish strips. Thank you so much. And don't forget, I want you to be reading your chapter on July. Okay, July is, is going to be an amazing month for everyone. I read your progress reports for June. If you think June was wildly successful, get ready for July. July, you're gonna fly. You're flying right now. And today, optimism one hour. I want you to share. Here's your fun work, listen up. I want you to share in our faith book group, our private group, your top hacks to invoke instant positivity, instant optimism, instant joy, because joy is yours. People love to bring other people down that are miserable, that have no goals. Run away from them. They can drain you. They're called energy vampires. Sometimes they're coworkers, sometimes they're distant family members or close family members or frenemies, people that pretend to be your friends, but they're not. As you evolve in your VIP power, you're gonna have that gut instinct and that sixth sense and also the intestinal fortitude in the backbone to stand up for yourself, okay? Don't forget, book club, Cleanse to Heal. I'll be covering this on Friday, July 16th when I do the master class on the Reclaim Your VIP Power, Volume 2. Reclaim and unleash it, all right? So, with that being said, a lot of things going on before we sign off. Woo! I wanna say that we started two challenges today. Nina's Lower Your Cortisol Challenge for the entire month, and we have a 12-day challenge. Thank you to Dominique. Jump in on that. Um, working on a big giveaway, as I said, and Wednesday the 7th, this Wednesday, I'm doing a fun workout. I heard you and I'm answering. All right, I heard your requests and I'm answering. What we're gonna do is trampoline and step bench workout. Now, if you don't have a trampoline, don't worry, because you can do the same moves that I'm gonna show you on the trampoline on the floor. Okay, so don't get all worried. Oh, I don't have a trampoline. Don't worry about it, you can still do all the moves. If I'm doing jumping jacks on the trampoline, you do jumping jacks on the floor. It's as simple as that. But I've been getting so, I've been bombarded with requests. I want a full one hour trampoline with the step bench for strength. So I'm excited about that, don't miss that. In closing, queens, know that you are beautiful, you are strong, and optimism is your middle name. Why is it important? It's been scientifically proven that the optimistic person is more successful than the pessimist, and I'll tell you why. They create solutions, they don't focus on the problems, 
They look at every problem as an opportunity to shine and show their problem-solving mentality towards life, and they make it happen. You're a make it happen type of woman. Type below, I'm a make it happen type of woman. Type below, I believe in myself. Type below, I choose to be optimistic. All right? Oh, I'm so jolted. All right, get ready. We're gonna be doing some zero gravity moves, some hopscotch, some power push-ups, bullet kicks. Oh, thigh blaster crawls. Get ready for those twist ab swings. Oh, I got some good news coming. All right, so with that being said, let's get this party started. And I wanna say again, a very happy birthday to Queen Yaya. 50 years young. Her past year has been a wildly successful year. She broke through and we've seen nothing yet. So I'm so excited about that. Love you, Natalie. Love you, Yaya. Love you, Sam, yes. And you know what? God says, don't worry. The opposite of being optimistic is worry, depression, down anxiety. That's how the enemy gets you from the neck up. Don't let it happen. When you start feeling that little negative gray cloud coming in, a worry, down anxiety, you say, uh-uh, oh, no, no, no. I want sunshine. Get away. And remember the verse in the Bible. Even the flowers and the birds, they don't worry about what they're going to wear or eat. Okay, so... Bring up that joy vibration. It's a magnet to pull other miracles in. All right, queens. If you're not a member, join JNLVIP.com, the number one hottest top rated all-female fitness group where this is your safe haven. This is your safe sanctuary. No men allowed. Only women that are going to be supportive of other women and I am a totally always running the cyber streets in our group in the www. www stands for wild, wild woman, warrior woman. Okay, worry free woman. I will see you at 8 a.m. Join today, jnlvip.com. And happy birthday, yeah, yeah, woo! I love you, queens. And God wants you to be happy, okay? So choose happiness and choose to be optimistic. I love you, queens. Let's do this. Mwah!